Stuart Muir. Welcome to Higher Ground, the only show dedicated to finding common ground in the contentious debate over BC's natural resources. Today we are taking you behind the scenes in the battle to move public opinion. We don't need to tell you the resource debate can be loud and antagonistic. Sometimes it can get personal. The stakes are high and passions do run hot. But there are more than just the two extremes and somewhere in between is where we'll find common ground. Yes, we here at Higher Ground are unapologetically pro-resource. And by that, we mean respectful resource development, which balances human and environmental needs responsibly. If you're watching this, chances are you or someone you know agrees with us, or at least is willing to learn more. It's unusual for a group like ours to share internal communications research, but today we're going to do just that, to show you there are more than just the extreme positions in the debate. Despite what you hear in the media, the majority of British Columbians are in favor of responsible resource development. Let's dive in. According to our internal research, conducted by an independent third-party firm, resource opinions break down into the following clusters. 14% of British Columbians are pavers. They're the most supportive of the resource sector. They're advocates for the economic benefits and are convinced that opposition hurts BC's economy. 20% are optimists. They support the resource sector, accept the economic arguments, and believe BC's economy is on the right track. 27% are suspicious meaning they support natural resources but question companies' motives. They also agree that opposition hurts BC's economy. 21% are skeptics, meaning they don't believe opposition puts BC's economy at risk and they are highly suspect of industry. But they do strongly accept that BC has an important role as a gateway to Asia. Finally, 14% of British Columbians are uncompromising back to the landers, the anti-everything crowd. They are unmoved by economic arguments, including those that see resource sector revenue used to fund hospitals and schools. They are the anti-fossil fuel zealots, the professional environmental activists, and utopian idealists. Reasoning with the anti-everything crowd can be maddening. They are, of course, against fossil fuels. No coal, no drilling, no oil sands, no pipelines, and no tankers. Frustratingly, they also seem to be against reliable clean energy. No natural gas, no large-scale hydroelectric dams, no run-of-river hydro, and, of course, no nuclear power. Finally, back to the landers can be counted on to kick up a fuss over mining, forestry, and agribusiness too. So now that we know what they are against, just who are they? A good example is this young chap, Alexei Wildman. He dislikes the SkyTrain public transit system so much he created a violent video game called Main Street Massacre. The lead character is a construction worker who goes ballistic on fellow SkyTrain passengers brutally shooting them as he wakes, makes his way out of the Main Street station. Wildman is a classic anti-everything frustrated transit user who says he made the violent game in part to protest the management of BC natural resources. It's just to be provocative, it's to get at it. Be like, hey, you know, I mean, like the way we're doing things, the way we're living in these cities, the way our resources are being managed, it's ticking people off. Ticked off or not, the greatest irony is that Wildman has legitimate issues with our mass transit system, and yet doesn't realize that revenues from the natural resource sector could fund the billions needed for transit improvement. So what's the broad picture of the 14% anti-everything cluster? They are the highest socio-economic status group, mostly women, highly educated, and they believe BC's economy is on the wrong track. Disproportionately, the anti-everything crowd lives on Vancouver Island and in the city of Vancouver. Finally, the takeaway message from the research is that while the opposition to natural resources is the loudest, they don't represent the majority. 61% of all British Columbians fall between paver and suspicious, meaning they support the natural resources industries. That leaves the skeptics, who are evenly split on their support for the industry. This is where we should focus all of our conversation. And now it's time for Speak Up, your chance to tell us how the resource industry benefits you, your family, and your community. Call us toll free at 1-844-332-5012 and leave a voicemail that we might use on air or give us your contact information and we'll reach out to you and give you a chance to speak out on next week's Higher Ground. And that's it for Higher Ground this week. Make sure you visit our website at resourceworks.com, sign up for our newsletter and don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. For ResourceWorks, I'm Stuart Muir.